Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my show Computer Awareness Day. In today's episode, we're gonna take a look at memory card readers. So let's dive right into it. Now, first thing you have to understand why the heck there is a need for this. Now, everything nowadays uses memory card, be it your mobile phone, which nowadays can go upwards of 256 GB to upwards of a half terabyte. So it's everywhere and your DSLRs have memory cards, your GoPros have memory cards, your drones have memory cards. So it's everywhere. And nowadays the file sizes that are created because of 4K, because of like uh, raw files, they are huge. I'm talking single image file going as much as 50 to uh, 80 MB and video files. Let's just not talk about that. So and it's not that just file sizes are huge nowadays the sd card media can read very fast there is a lot of development in flash technology the flash memory chips so we have very high speed so this is why we need good sd card so let's dive right into it now it's all about speed everything you have that uses sd card more likely uh, than not it actually has a card reader built into it let's say my canon 800d it has a usb card reader like uh, i don't have to you know take the card out and then uh, plug it into a card reader it can act as a card reader itself and it will allow uh, my computer to directly copy and paste the files and so can this uh, audio recorder and almost everything that has sd card reader like sd card in use can do that however the speeds are ludicrously slow in my car it's that's 2.0 even this is 2.0 so to actually get the speed that my flash chip can provide, I need a dedicated card reader. Now, before you jump into this, before you like, okay, I'm gonna go buy the latest and greatest card reader, you have to understand the top limitation comes from the fact that your PC might be the slow part. Now, let's say your PC is not slow, you have to look into the interface. Now, again, even interface may be the, not the bottleneck, you have to look into the HDD, S SDD and NVMe. You can check my video here where I have went into detail about these things. So basically, if you are uh, dumping, uh, let's say, a red epic camera footage, you need something like SSD bare minimum. You want to edit that, you need something like NVMe. So, and if you only have this mechanical drives, yeah, don't bother too much money into a uh, card reader simply because this will become the bottleneck. You have to make sure you have at least this or this because these puppies can, uh, you know, write data at very high rate so they can absorb a lot of data. So you have to make sure, uh, you know, you are not bottlenecked by this. And not to mention interface are uh, kind of problematic nowadays simply because USB 3 has USB 3 and USB 3.1 or sometimes they call it USB Gen 2. Now problem is they look exactly the same. So let's say for instance, this is a USB 3 card reader. Now this port will look exactly the same between generation 1 and generation 2. So this creates a complicated issue. So you have to make sure you double check your interface, how your card is going to communicate to your PC. That should not be the bottleneck. Now, all, every card reader you have, let's say uh, like this card, as you can see, now you may not be able to see clearly, but it has like 20, 80, 280 Mbps of read speed. It's not write speed. You can't write it at that fast. However, the read speeds are higher. Generally, all uh, SD media has very high read speed. So even a S micro SD card can read at 95, but can only write at 90. And cheaper ones have even a worse scenario where they can only uh, basically, let's say, write at the speed of 45 and read at the speed of 90. So please make sure the read will always be faster. So basically extracting detail from your memory card, extracting files from your memory card can be sped up if you have a good enough card readers. So we have discussed all this now question becomes how do i know you have to know yourself basically you have to know your exact format now this is a sd card this is a sd card uhs2 version so which one do you have check your camera check your memory card which do you have if you have uhs2 buy a card reader that supports uhs2 now let's say you have the money because uh, this uhs card 2 is very expensive and should you buy this for your camera even if it does not use it i would say yes because if you can afford it be mindful this is almost three times more expensive if you can afford it i would urge you to buy this simply because while you are extracting the file from your uh, card reader even let's say your card reader is only usb 3.0 gen 1 that's 600 mbps uh, of bandwidth and you can practically get upwards of three to four hundred now sd card that is like a normal normal one they cannot go higher than 90 mbps this can easily go up to 100 and 200 of a read speed so you can extract data file very quickly so if you are doing something like i am doing making youtube videos and all that i have to spend uh, time to, just to extract file 
I'm not doing anything at that time. I'm just plugging the SD card and extracting it. It takes so long that uh, while I'm extracting file from this, uh, basically the SD card from this, I put this happens almost in, uh, you know very quickly, instantaneously. So I'm extracting the file. I'm doing the noise cancellation on those files, and then during that time, that process is going on. At that time, I'm copying the video files because it takes longer. So you have to know your exact format. Do you have it? Can you use it? Then interface. Now please pay attention to this, especially because, especially if you want to buy a high product they will be like USB 3.1 now what does that mean USB 3.1 in terms of software or in terms of physical hardware now because 3.1 gen 2 sometimes is USB C so you can see there is a complication into this so please pay attention to that especially with Thunderbolt Thunderbolt uh, 3 has USB C as a port so it's very confusing so please pay attention to this all you have to do is just pay closer attention to the either the manual or numbers written here so other than that you don't have to do anything but you have to check it because let's say you bought a SD card reader that has USB 3.1 you have a media let's say uh, this sort of media UHS 2 media which can uh, you know saturate your card speed but let's say your motherboard did not have the port so you got limited because of that so please check now this is one very uh, small niche but you have to double check that for that is simultaneous use is possible or not because many card readers like this one does not support simultaneous card reader meaning meaning like i have sd card in my dslr i plug it here now i have a mini sd card for my audio recorder i can't plug the, both of them at the same time and copy files same time so please double check that if you are in a scenario where you need to copy files from multiple sources double check the simultaneous use is possible or not so after that everything then if you have checked all that then the bottleneck becomes your uh, flash media itself because you can see like there is cfast 2.0 standard that can read upwards of 500 megabytes per second so at this point you are at the same speed of ssd this is SSD basically, the CFAST 2.0 standard is basically SSD. So that's a, that is why it's not uh, backwards compatible with old CFAST. So double check that and you can have XQD for Nikon systems and uh, some Sony professional handicams where it can go upwards of 440. So this is why I'm saying know yourself. What does your motherboard allow? What is your interface limit? What is that exact format that you are using? Make sure all of that. Now, if for most of you, simultaneous use is not a common thing. You barely need to do it. So don't worry too much about it. But if let's say you are in a scenario where you're going for a wedding, you did a lot of wedding shoot, you have like two, three camera, one drone and things of that nature. Simultaneous use actually will end up saving you time. So again, if you are charging very little amount of uh, money for your shoots basically if your per hour cost is not high enough don't invest in that because you can afford to waste time then is there any other bottleneck because you might be surprised how much time you waste just you know trying to copy files so please know yourself now okay this is a long lecture is there something that you can buy well yes in a mid range there is a very good option like this one is right now amazon's best selling because uh, it's very pra uh, practical it's like uhs1 usb 3.0 very practical i can easily get up to 80 to 90 mbps out of this now if you want to go higher version than that, that is possible. You can buy uh, the same thing, 3.1 version, which has UHS-2 support. And it's uh, or some people say that it can support multi-card read. Then there is this one, which uh, after a lot of research turns out to be very good, is Kingston USB 3.0 card reader. That's what it. It also supports UHS-2, the modern card standards, and it can do multi-card read. So in my kind of scenario, you can easily have your SD card running into this and your micro SD card from your audio recorder going into this, and it can directly copy both of them and it also allows cross transfer so you can transfer from one card to another card so which is nice now let's say you are a pro let's say you are running a uh, you know a large company not large company let's say a small company where you have at least two three people and uh, all the data is dumped into network attached storage for safety purpose how do you gonna dump that kind of amount of data so you use this luxar system now be mindful luxar is out of business now however that company is bought by someone else and they're gonna maintain it so it's not you don't have to worry about it like you know it being out of support so what you can do is buy small small card readers like this these are independent card reader you can buy this use it uh, directly with your uh, usb 3 port nothing fancy about this however once you have four of them you can buy this big adapter this is very expensive but you can slot four of them now why would you want to do that here's a simple thing this has uh, usb 3.1 and thunderbolt so let's say your network attached storage absorbs th thunderbolt or absorbs usb 3.1 you connect this to there and all of these card reader can work simultaneously that is the critical part or four of them and let's say you are in a scenario where you are only using nikon cameras and you have xqd only you can buy xqd 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 
that's the reason why people are interesting about this is a very expensive product under no circumstances think this is a cheap device this is very expensive but it does allow amazing customizability so let's say you have a scenario where you have uh, you want to copy two xqd simultaneously bought two xqd let's say but you also have drone footage which uses micro sd you buy this one now this itself there is a one that only supports first uh, one micro sd and the other three micro sd and be mindful this three can be copied simultaneously all three so you can have like you know one gopro one uh, drone all of them copied same time and then again you can also buy a, a basically data module where it's just a ssd 512 gigabyte ssd that you can plug here and everything will be backed up into this also so this is a some uh, this is a product where somebody sat down and designed it well because uh, all of this, like let's say this module, you can buy right now. Right now, let's say you use lot of micro SD. Buy this right now. This will allow you to copy three, three SD cards simultaneously, and it will work with very high speed USB 3.0. Now, once you have, uh, let's say, move to XQD, you buy XQD one. You move to UHS two card, you buy UHS two card slot. And once you have four of them, just buy this one. So this is a very amazing product for large. Uh, use scenario it's not suited for uh, you know you are you and me it's suited for studios that are doing wedding a uh, lot of uh, basically music videos and things of that nature where uh, you know copying time is a very big deal you want to make sure that you saturate your network because you, if you have a network attached storage that can absorb data at let's say two to three gigabytes per second you can uh, practically stack upwards of 18 to 20 sd cards so this allows you to do that so this is amazing product for pro this is not something that i would urge you to buy for home now, if you use a lot of SD cards, I would urge you to buy this because this does allow three simultaneous transfer. Now, for most of us, this uh, Transfringer and Kingston is more than good enough. So, this was my presentation on card readers. I hope you liked it or learned from it. In that case, please leave a like. Click the ad shown in this video that will directly pay me. And uh, I would urge you to, if you didn't like it, you can dislike it. I would ask you to press the dislike button twice to show that extra disappointment. And uh, please comment, uh, leave a comment because I reply to all of them. And I would urge you to subscribe, press the bell icon if you're free. And as always, thanks for watching.